Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where last episode we attached our AMS here and it might be in a slightly different position. Apparently I forgot to save after last episode and when I loaded in we had an auto save. This thing was like, I don't know, maybe 10 meters away from being hooked up. So I just hooked it up again. It might be in a slightly different position but it's in about the same spot. So that'll be absolutely fine and of course now we need to put up our ELC which is going to end up going over here. Uh, let me just consult the diagram really quickly to verify where this goes. So let's hop over here and taking a look at this, we have the ELC three. So this basically goes on top of the ELC one on the P3 truss segment. Okay, so that'll be absolutely fine. So as far as that goes, it goes basically right up over here. So we need to hop over to our shuttle and we need to position our shuttle out over that way. So, let's nose down here functionally. And we're going to position ourselves over here. We should probably consider furling the solar panels that are over there while we're going to be flying the shuttle around in that area, unless we want to break them, which is fine. We do somewhere up here have repair kits. I'm not sure exactly where, but we have them somewhere. So we can just bring this down to be something kind of like this. I'm going to rotate our wings and our tail to be out this way, just for safety's sake. And then we're going to burn out this direction about half a meter per second. Okay, so let's RCS over so that we are going the exact direction that we want to. There we go. And now what I want to do is I want to just hop over to the station and furl these solar panels just in case. Cool. And we're going to be mounting that pretty much over here. So that's fine. We'll just warp our way on over here. Okay, we're going to need to start going in a bit of a downward trajectory. So let's bring this to a bit of a halt. Although we still want to be a little forward. So I'm going to put this at about two and a half meters per second or so forward. And then I'm going to bring us in a downward trajectory by a few, well, a little bit here. Somewhere around here. Uh, this might be a little too much. I don't want to impact the cannon arm. Okay, let's see what that looks like. I think we're clear here. Yeah, we're clear. Okay, so we'll just bring this back, and at this point, we want to start heading a bit this direction, but I want to just get us going forward for now. RCS off, and I'm going to roll us over here. Actually, let's just bring this to a halt. This is in a better spot than I thought it was. Hang on. Okay, so we've brought been brought to a halt here. Now, I want to just... Thinking about how we want to approach this, I want to nose down a little bit here. And I want to yaw this direction. Out over this way. Cool. Now I want to go into reverse. Just a little bit and have our tail clear. So somewhere around... Right, controls are reversed. Somewhere around here. So we'll just warp forward a little bit until our tail clears, which is about now. Hang on, I'm going the wrong way. I meant to bring that to a halt. Okay, so we'll bring this to approximately a halt. Actually, I'm going to keep it here for the moment. And we're going to nose down a little bit. Yep, about here or so. Okay. Now we're going to redirect this velocity to be reversing in our new vector. And we can warp forward a little bit.
Looks good. Let's bring it to a halt. Wrong way. <laughs> Let's bring it to a halt this way. Okay. Relative halt. Looks good. So now I want to go in the up vector a little bit and get a little closer in here. So about here. Okay. Looks reasonably fine. So let's now bring this to a halt again. Or approximately a halt. And then we'll get build to EVA. And we need to install a docking port here. So we're going to grab this docking port. And we're going to install this guy somewhere around... I think in the center is where I'm going to put this. I'm consulting the reference here. Yeah, it's pretty close to the center. A little bit forward. I'm sure we have a place in here somewhere where we can put this in. Yeah, we're going to have to put it in about like that. And then we'll have to rotate it. That's fine. So that goes in. And we'll use the rotate tool. And we'll just rotate that guy to go down over here. I think that's flat. We'll use the move tool. And in local coordinates, move this guy down ever so slightly. I'm going to turn snapping off. It's not correctly positioned. We can see we do have a little bit of speed here. No doubt about that. But that looks good at this point. So that's good to go. Now we can exit Kerbal Construction Mode and board. We're going to want to head ever so slightly away from this at this time. So we're just going to update our momentum here. And I want to... Oh, we still have this strutted in. Okay, Bill, you're going to have to hop back out. Because we need to unleash this guy. Okay. There we go. As soon as we get this placed here, we'll have Bill hop back in. Cool. There we go. Now we can get this extended on out. So let's think here. How exactly is this going to go? We extend this out over here to 90 degrees, right? That is step number one. And what exactly do we have going on with all this? I've kind of forgotten. Oh, I remember how this is folded up. Right. So we're going to need to extend this guy out. Whoa, that's a little too fast. Turn that traverse rate down, please. Okay. So we're going to extend this out. And then we're going to need to fold this guy from 90 over to 0. Once again, this is way too fast. Okay. Now I'm going to want to take this over to... Positive 90. So we'll just do something like that. And then I would like to... Honestly, I think we just rotate this guy. This is, again, way too fast. Ooh, we ended up impacting there. Okay, that's not ideal, but it's, I guess, fine. As long as we don't impact a bunch of times. Okay. Let's put that at zero. And I'm now going to unextend this. We have a lot of space here. So we'll just pull that guy right on back. And we'll need to secure this into place. So as that moves, Bill can EVA again. But I want to set this as our target. Okay. We're going to need to kill our relative momentum here. Other way. Okay. This direction. Gotcha. So that'll do for now. Bill, you can EVA, and we're going to need to secure this into position. So we are going to grab one of these struts. And this is still moving. That's fine. I think we will strut it from, say, over here. And let's just give this a chance to fully unextend here. 
because it definitely doesn't need to be as telescoped as it is. That's for sure. Okay, we're very close to having this be fully unextended. About there. And we'll just secure it like that. Okay, now we'll hop back in and we can control from here with the idea being we're going to turn RCS off and we're going to point at target. Now we're going to need to move a little bit in the forward vector. And with this guy, I'm not sure where the forward vector is. We'll have to figure that out. It's almost more the up vector at this point, isn't it? Okay. This is the forward vector. First thing I tried. We'll call it good. That'll arc us up and around over here. And we're going to want to start heading very slightly towards the target here so that we can at least see where our directionality is. Okay. How are we doing on this angle? I think it's probably quite imperfect. It definitely is. It's kind of close, though. Kind of close. But we definitely need to continue to bring this forward a little ways. So we're just slowly drifting into place here. We need to go a little further. We're quite close now. But I think a little bit more drifting. Okay, bringing this back. There's now apparently a relative zero motion. I'm going to head in towards the target a little bit so we can see where our velocity is. Okay, right there. Looks good. So we're going to need to head in the right vector, which is really this way. We'll just bring that on down. Looking reasonably aligned. Slightly further, but we should start bringing it back. Okay. That's very close to being aligned there. I think a little further on the forward vector, but not much. Docking forces will likely take it soon. Okay, where did we, where did we misalign? Looks like we're not quite forward enough. Okay, we can definitely do something about that. Point at target. And there we go, we're docked. Excellent. So that'll be absolutely fine. We docked in approximately the correct orientation. So that all looks good. Bill, you can now EVA. And your goal, of course, is going to be to strut this to the station. I don't know if we can reach it from here. We'll see. We might be able to. So I want to grab... Oh, we had this strut. This isn't exactly what I want to be doing right now. Okay. Re-grab it. There you go. Now, I want to hop up over here, and we can strut this out over here. Our rotation is not perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be. So, where do we want to strut this to? Here? Yeah, that's fine. For the next one, I'm just going to grab this guy. And yes, that will cause some wiggling. That is expected. I'm going to strut from here. There we go. Directly on over to here. Okay. Now we can undock here. And start to pull away a little bit. Heading back over to the shuttle. Bill can EVA one more time because we have a we, we have a docking port to remove. Okay. So we are going to quickly remove this docking port if the game lets us, which it does. Excellent. And we'll just mount that guy in here. Cool. That looks absolutely fine. 
we're pretty much done with this mission. And this is, of course, the final shuttle mission. So let's get this robotic arm docked up here, or rather, stowed away. All we really need to do to do that is just move this guy to 90 degrees. And I think that'll be good enough. As far as stowing goes. Then we should be able to close our doors. We might see a little bit of clipping here, but I don't think we will. I think it'll be absolutely fine. RCS on, and we are going to pull away from the station here. At a relatively reasonable speed. We can see we're pretty close at this point to retrograde. So let's just head over to orbital retrograde. That sounds good. Yeah, this seems absolutely fine. And the next question is, this is the retrograde direction? Okay. If we unfurl these, do we think we're going to be clipping them as we exit? Well, not if we warp long enough. We'll extend this solar panel and this one. Cool. And eventually this one. There we go. And also this guy. Phenomenal. So that'll be fine for right now. And at this point, I think we're clear if we burn in this direction. We're at least clear-ish. Let's get a little bit of speed going in this way. We still have the velocity away from the station here. But I just want to keep our speed low until we're more clear. We were almost certainly going to be fine, but now we definitely are going to be fine. So let's light up the engines and let's bring back our final shuttle mission. I actually think we have time to fully bring this down this episode, which would be great. That'll be a, a nice capstone on our, our on our shuttle program here. And then we're going to have to make the, uh, the SpaceX rocket, the Falcon 9. That'll be an interesting one. I'm not sure entirely how we're going to do the reusable stages. The main problem with that, of course, is that we don't have a good way to simultaneously pilot the, the the first stage and the second stage. Unless MechJeb can handle the second stage, but I don't think it does if we leave in the first stage and land with that. I don't think MechJeb would actually do that. We could do it higher in orbit, I suppose, just to deal with the limitations of KSP. So design it so that the first stage puts us into at least a pretty decent suborbital trajectory. And then the first stage comes down and gets recovered. That's a theoretical possibility, actually. So the station is about to be unloaded, at which point we will have frame rate. Glorious, glorious frame rate. And that would be nice. No doubt about that. Okay, there goes the station unloading and oh, buttery smooth. I like it. That's phenomenal. Periapsis height is about where we want it to be, so let's just head on over to the periapsis. We'll do a maneuver. We don't have to do this via a maneuver, but we absolutely can. And we'll bring that down to about 10 kilometers, as we have been doing. We'll hop on over to our node. And let's get into position for our deorbit burn. We're going to warp on forward here. That'll be in about 20 minutes. So let's warp. The shuttle was definitely an interesting challenge. There's no doubt about that. I'm bad at space planes in general, and the shuttle is a particularly complicated one. It actually kind of makes it easier for me, though, that it launches vertically. So there is that. We've got 50 seconds until this burn. 40, 30, 20, 10, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, mark. Let's burn. So it looks like this is probably going to end up being a landing in this water, if I had to guess. I don't know that for a fact, but that would be my theory. It could be a land landing. It could be a water landing. Either is fine. We're okay with it. 
And honestly, that's going to be the same thing with the Falcon 9. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay. Well, that's mildly awkward. Mildly awkward indeed. Let's just put this guy down to a target angle of, of like, uh, 30? Something like that. Okay. We are just finishing up this burn here. I'm watching the periapsis there. This is good enough. And we're going to flip around to horizontal velocity up and just get ourselves into position for this re-entry. Of course, we want to vent any remaining fuel. So we will do exactly that. Goodbye remaining fuel. We do not want you. You will mess up our aerodynamics, which are already very suspect. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Okay, let's physics warp on forward here as we bring this down. I am kind of expecting that we'll be landing in this water here, but we might overshoot it and get a land landing up here. We'll see. We're still cruising pretty good, and this is going to be that coastline up there. So we're going to need to start decelerating pretty quickly if that does indeed end up being the case. I'm very bad at determining where this, this thing is going to land. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Which is a good thing that it doesn't matter whether we land in water or land. Either is completely, totally fine. Now, the Falcon 9, the first stage is not going to have parachutes on it. So that's going to be, you know, mildly spicy. We'll see how that goes. We are still accelerating at this moment. We're still quite high up in the atmosphere. No doubt about that. Ooh, that's uh, very twitchy when we attempt to adjust that. So we're going to shoot right over this water then, and we're going to be landing somewhere up here. Okay, that's fine. We can do a land landing. This is what this is technically designed to do. So that is fine. Yeah, we're still actually accelerating over the surface. That won't continue for long. Yeah. There we go. Now we're beginning to decelerate. Perfect. So we're over land at this point, and we'll see how that ends up going. It may end up being a night side landing too, which would be, you know, <laughs> mildly spicy. I guess we can turn our lights on. We're definitely going into twilight here. And we're still up over two kilometers per second. There's some water up over here. This coastline goes back over this way. Yes. This is looking like a water landing at this time. But we'll see. It might be somewhere down over here. We are slowing down a lot now. Okay. I'm going to come out of physics warp here because we've picked up a bit of a list here. We're listing off to the side. Maybe that's not a bad thing, though, if we want to land landing. If we want to land landing, we'll have to head out over this way. We are slowing down a decent amount. We're down to 1,200 meters per second. Yeah, I think a land landing is absolutely okay here. We'll need to slow down a fair amount more before we can think about maneuvering. We know that that will create us problems. So at this point, we're down to one kilometer per second. 900 meters per second. 800. We need this to drop down further, but I am going to try to veer us off and land kind of parallel to this coastline. Okay. So we can start bringing that over a little bit here. Start trying to dive down just a smidge. Can we not have this uh, oscillation, please? That would be nice. I do want to angle our wings out over here because when we pull up, I want to pull up in this direction. And we're going to need to do that fairly soon. We're moving at about 400 meters per second right now. And I want to start working on that turn. Okay. Ooh, we are uh, overturning it. That's always the danger of doing that. But we got it under control. Looks good. Okay, so I'm bringing this further down. We've adjusted our angling here. But I want to be sitting about here for the moment. 
This is looking good. We can see our landing point is currently here. We're going to want that to be going this direction. We're still about seven kilometers up. And we're traveling at a decent speed. I'm gonna open up our landing gear and turn on our brakes. And I'm gonna pull out of this dive at around, I think three kilometers, so we have plenty of space. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, pulling out of the dive. Or trying to, anyway. This thing doesn't have the finest aerodynamics in the world. I believe I've mentioned this. <laughs> okay, now I want to start diving again, now that we're well away from the coastline. So we're just going to dive down over here and lose a little bit of speed. Or rather, gain the speed. The real problem at this point, of course, is that we have very little space here. So I'm deploying our drogues and pulling us up. This is uphill, so that is noted. We need to lose quite a lot of speed here, but we are at a decent velocity now. Ooh, wing is gonna go away. We rolled over there. That wasn't the greatest landing in the world. But it worked. We lost the wing there. We, we rolled over, but it's absolutely fine. Like I've said before, any landing you walk away from. So we're going to recover that. And we'll need to get our payment. And then we're not done with the ISS yet. But we are done with the shuttle. And that is, of course, phenomenal. So our next flight is going to end up being... A Falcon 9 flight, and we're going to be lifting the HRSGF that doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. It is the Heat Rejection Subsystem Grapple Fixture, but that page does not exist. And so I don't know what that is. I'll have to look into that. Is that on our diagram? Uh, let's see here. That is the HRSGF. No, that's not on our diagram. So I have no idea what that is, but that is the first thing that is brought up by the Falcon 9. So <laughs> we'll we'll see what that ends up being. We need to get our payment for that, that final shuttle mission, and let's do that. So there we go. Perfect. And then we'll get our Falcon 9 designed next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kintogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.